I have a, a question about choosing a wallet. Yes. I feel like I've been living. So I use Copay on my iPhone. And I've been using it for a while, and then somebody looks at me. Oh, you're using Copay to support 2X. I said, I do. And, and it's, it, there's affiliations that I didn't even know about when I started using the wallet. And then I, I use a Trezor, and oh, you hate my cash then. So there's like, I feel like I'm affiliating in ways that I didn't even realize when I started using the wallet. So do you have any advice as far as how to find a wallet, how to choose a wallet that matches up with my own philosophy on cryptocurrency? Or aside from running a full node for every coin? I, I struggle with that on a daily basis because not only do I choose a wallet for myself, but I often recommend a wallet to newbies. And, and the criteria are usually different, right? The wallet that I choose for myself tends to have 150 tunable knobs and parameters that I can highly customize. So, you know, if my wallet doesn't do RBF over Tor to my own node, it's like pff, whatever. Um, and, and whereas to a newbie, I just said three words that mean nothing. So RBF Tor node. And so that wallet is immediately unsuitable for someone who's new to the space, and I'll recommend a completely different one. Um, it's a difficult choice, and most importantly, it's a choice that changes every three months because the whole space is evolving. Wallets that used to be good are no longer good. Wallets that used to have principles that I agreed with no longer have principles that I agree with. Wallets that used to be secure are not as secure anymore. Um, so what I do is um, I change them often, right? So I think every year or so I switch which is my primary mobile petty cash day-to-day -day wallet. Um, you know, my long-term cold, cold, cold storage system is not a wallet. It's a piece of paper um, that holds a seed that's not on hardware. Uh, so I, that's a whole other story. That can remain static for years. But in terms of the day-to-day -day wallet that I use to inject my own transactions into the network, that changes. So I constantly try to reevaluate wallets and see if they're keeping up. Like right now, one of the criteria I have is if it doesn't do SegWit, I don't want to use it. It's too expensive for me. I need to use SegWit. I want to get the fee discount. So if your wallet doesn't do SegWit, I'm not interested in using it. Now, what that means is I currently don't have a mobile wallet. <laughs> <laughs> right? Because none of them do SegWit. So um, sometimes you do have to be a bit tolerant of differences. What I can tell you is that no matter what wallet you choose, you are clearly an impure traitor to the cause and have obviously made the wrong choice. And it's not because you were mistaken, it is because you were maliciously trying to undermine the health of the network, because you were bought off by the CIA and the Illuminati. <laughs> I've never worked in a space where the circular firing squad is on full auto all the time. <laughs> but um, no matter what choice you make, you will obviously be criticized by almost everyone who didn't make that choice. It's not a winning game. Keep it to yourself, probably. And I don't take those things too seriously. You just have to um, try to navigate a very complex and drama-filled environment with the best you can. <laughs>